Hey guys, what's going on? It's DJ TLM. You're watching DJ TLM TV. And I wanted to do this tutorial because this question has been asked a lot. And especially since I'm also doing stuff like the Saturday Super Sessions right now, it might be a good idea to give you guys a little extra info when it comes to syncing your video and your audio when you record them separately. So if you're recording yourself scratching and you're using a camera, but you can also record the audio on your computer, you have to put the two together and they have to be in sync to make uh, to make it sound right. So I'm gonna show you how I do that right now and I'll be adding some extra info as well. So a little bit of extra info right now. To record this video, I'm only doing the intro with my camera. The rest of the video will be done with some screen capture software and I'm using ScreenFlick. And to record my voice and the sound right here, I'm using a very little camera right here, uh, level mic that's going to be right here on my shirt and that will be recorded with my phone that's right I have recording software on the phone and when I connect this yep yeah, yep yeah. I press record now hi you can see my voice right there being registered and recorded so uh, I'll leave all the info for all the software and hardware that I use in the description let's check it out all right guys, so here's my video editing software. This is my software of choice right now. It's Adobe Premiere Pro. I used to do a lot of my video editing with a program called Sony Vegas Movie Studio Platinum. I think it was edition 10 or 11. Right now there are 12 or 13. A very, very nice program. I love working with that because it was so simple. So I definitely recommend Sony Vegas, but it only works with Windows computers. And I had to switch computers a while ago and my studio computer right now is a Mac. So I had to find new software, different software. And there's a lot of programs out there for video editing. And if you're only going to use it for syncing audio and video, you don't need an advanced program. So I don't have uh, recommendations for the Mac yet, but there's a lot of basic programs out there that will probably work just fine. So maybe try out some free ones first and see how far you can get with that. Now, I needed a more advanced program because I do a lot more than just syncing. I do a lot of video editing and Adobe Premiere Pro is perfect for me. I had to get used to it for a minute. It's different than Sony Vegas, but I really like it. So this is a sequence uh, for a project that I already made, but I just deleted the files from the sequence. This is uh, Saturday session number seven. So all the files that I needed for this session were already in the project, I already imported them. And right now I need my video file. I have my audio file. So this is the audio that I recorded separately. What I did is I had a cable, in this case, an RCA cable come from my mixer and it's plugged into the audio interface that's connected to my computer. That's how I can record the audio from my DJ set. And let me take the video file first. Here's the video file. Uh, do that again. There you go, there's the video file. Uh, you might recognize this. There it is, the Saturday session number seven. And if we take a closer look, you can already tell this is the video file. And here is an audio file because my camera does record audio, but most cameras don't have good microphones. Definitely not that good to record the sound in a room in the right way. And I don't like recording the sound of the room because then you get the sound coming from the speakers, but you also get all the clicks from the fader, especially if you do scratch video, you're gonna be yanking that fader and uh, banging it from side to side and you're gonna hear that. You're gonna hear the clicks from the fader and um, yeah, that it doesn't sound as good. So you may be able to hear it. There's a lot of click, 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 clicks there. And those microphones don't pick up all the right frequencies. So that beat is actually uh, has a lot of low frequencies, a lot of bass. The, the mic's not picking up that bass very well. And the balance actually sounds off because the scratches sound way louder than the beat because you don't hear the beat that well. You hear the higher frequencies from the scratches better. So I could use this, but it's definitely not gonna have the same impact as using a separately recorded audio. So let me 
bring in the audio file, and if you look at this file, bang. Now that's audio right there. If you compare these two, you can tell straight away that is uh, there's a lot more sound there. So let me mute the sound from the from the camera for a minute and hear the sound that I recorded separately. <laughs> Bang, that's a lot of sound right there. All right, that's the file I wanna use. Now the video was recorded with my Canon, my 600D, and in this case I use my Tokina 1116 lens because that lens can get a lot into the frame without having to put the camera very far. This is right in front of my DJ set and I can still get everything in the screen. So that works perfectly for shots like this and for all my tutorials where you wanna get a lot in the screen. And the audio, like I said, the mixer is connected to the audio interface on my computer, and I use the program called Audacity right here. Very uh, simple program, but it's also free. So this is free audio editing software. Sometimes I uh, use Cubase to record as well, but this is very easy for these type of recordings, and it's free. And it works on Windows and Mac, so uh, that's what I like to use. And what I did, I recorded the audio, but if I take it to the beginning of that audio, I already uh, cut the audio so that the audio file starts at the beginning where I need it to begin. So the file was a little bit longer, but right now it starts like this. Now, if you've seen that Saturday session video, then you know that that's how the video starts. And I'll show you right now because if I'm recording, I have to do a lot of things at home, so I have my set ready, I had the music already playing, and then I turned the mic on, so you turn, oh, let me turn that audio back on, you turn the mic on, the camera on, I mean, then I have to walk to my DJ set, now all of that, I don't want to see that in my finished product, in my finished product, I want to see myself behind that set, and uh, just starting the video the right way, so... This is the type of footage that you don't need in there. So I need to take this uh, to the beginning. I was testing, uh, let me see, uh, where is it? Oh yeah, there it is, look. That's it, so right there. That's about right. Now, I can cut it off or I can just drag it from the beginning. So now my video file starts like this. Now, if you hear that audio again that I recorded, you can already hear that I've cut them almost at the exact same point. So right now, if I line them up, they're probably already going to be almost at the same point. And that's why I didn't delete the audio from the video file straight away, the, the bad audio, because I need it as a reference point because if I had to cut the video without having that sound to find that point, it's gonna be a lot harder. So I use that video, that audio, sorry, from the camera to find the right point to cut the video. And now I know that they're gonna be almost aligned already. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna zoom in. So that audio file is very thin. There's not a lot to see. So actually, let me just shift everything for a minute. Let me give myself a little more room right here on the audio end so I can make these two a little bit bigger so you can see better. So this is the audio that was recorded by the camera. This is the audio that was recorded by the computer. And this is so thin that I have to pick a certain point that I can use. And this is the biggest point right here. I think that's the, the snare drum. Yep. So that's the thickest point. And I, I know right now that that's the same point as this right here. These are the snares. You can see that they're almost aligned. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set it up exactly at the beginning of that snare. Um, let me zoom in a little bit more. Boom. And I'm going to move this one. Uh, this is very close. Now, you, you have to do this by eye and ear. So get them as close as you can get them. But then you have to take your video file and you have to check just to see if it's in the right place. So I'm, now I'm going to mute 
the audio from the camera. So I turn it off so you can't hear it right now. And I'm going to turn on the audio that I recorded with my computer. Put it at the beginning. So let's see how close we are now. Looks good. Let's wait for the scratches. Dead on. That's what I needed. So right now, the audio and video are definitely in sync. So what I do now is I'm gonna delete that audio that was recorded by the camera because I don't need it anymore. I could leave it on mute as well. That will work just fine too, but in my case, I'm just gonna delete it. I don't even wanna see files within my project that I don't need. Now, after that, I did a lot more to edit. I had some things in the screen and stuff like that. I don't need to do that right now. This is all about syncing the audio and video but that's what you do. You make sure that you cut the video and you cut the audio uh, as close as you can get to the point where you want them to begin. That makes it a lot easier to line them up. And then you can always use the audio that was recorded by the camera as a reference point to line up the audio that you recorded with the computer. Get them as close together as you can. Then you just turn it on with the video and the audio from the computer and you see if it's close enough. If it wasn't close enough, I might have to shift it a little bit left or right to get it right, but in this case, it's dead on. So it's not that hard to do, and it improves the quality of your video uh, a lot. Now, of course, like I said, I do a lot more to the video to get it the way I want it to be, but this is not a video editing tutorial, and I'm not a video editing expert, but there's a couple more things I do to make sure that the video looks as good as it can look. And of course, always make sure that your audio is, uh, oh, this is the right one, this sounds okay. So, right now it's within levels. I had to turn it down a bit uh, because at first it was clipping, it was all in the red and you don't want it to be in the red. You don't want it to go over that zero dB right there. So, once you synced these two files, then you have to export this project this sequence to make it a new video and that's the video that you end up with and especially if you're doing it for YouTube they have a page on YouTube where you can see what their uh, preferred file is that they want and what kind of settings you can use but there's also a lot of videos on YouTube that show you how to export video in the right way for YouTube in my case I can't show you that the setting that I use when I export and this is gonna be different for everyone. Some people have just different uh, preferences of what they want. When I export my file, um, I do use the, the, the full HD, the 1080p, so you can uh, change that in YouTube and get it to the highest quality. And I like the audio to be of decent quality as well. So that's my audio settings. That's some of my video settings that I use, but I'm not the expert, I don't want to get too deep into this because this is definitely not my uh, field of expertise, but I know how to get the job done and I learn every time I edit a new video or uh, try to make uh, a, a new type of edit and work with stuff like that. So maybe in the future I will do videos just to show you how I work, but there's a lot better videos and tutorials that you can find on YouTube already for whatever software you use. There's a lot of Sony Vegas stuff, a lot of Adobe Premiere stuff, and there's definitely, like I said, a lot of different software out there to use. So uh, I hope this helps you out, man. And if it does, you know what the deal is. Make sure you click that thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already so you don't miss out on any of my future videos. If you have more questions, you know where to reach me, uh, djtlmtv at djtlm.com. And right now, I'm going back into some video editing because I just use my screen capture software that you can see running right here to record all the movements I just did. And I have a little microphone attached to my shirt right now that's recording my speaking voice. And I'm going to have to sync those two together as well. And that's a different story. But uh, all right, guys, I'll see you next time. Peace.